Hey guys, welcome to Gravy Boat Cooking and Camping. Today we're going to look at what knives I use and what I use them for when I cook. Here they are, my most used knives for barbecuing around the house. Uh, when I go camping, I've got a different set of knives, but can't go camping at the moment because we're still locked down to a degree anyway. So I'll run you through each one of these knives and I'll run you through what I use them for. Um, uh, but some have been with me for a fair while. I've had this knife forever. This is part of an original Mundal knife set. Uh, it's my chef's knife. Most of my knives um, I try to keep in good condition but this one's starting to get old. You can see where it's been clamped and sharpened and all the rest of it. But um, So it's my oldest knife. Um, probably then my next one is my little Victorinox boner or boning knife. So um, if you this one I use for, for most things, whether it's it's trimming trimming briskets, whether it's um, trimming the fat off off different sorts of meats, uh, chicken legs, chicken wings, stripping them down, all that sort of stuff. So that's my go-to knife. Um, it's easy to use. It fits in your hand well. It's it's light. Um, yeah, just a just a really good knife. Really good knife there. My next one on the list is my IO. Shen, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a slicer. And if you have a look at it, I'll give you a look at it compared to the, this 10 inch slicer. It's quite a big knife. Um, so this knife is, I use for slicing briskets, for slicing ribs, um, slicing cooked meats, hams, things like that. Mainly got it for briskets. I find big briskets are hard to slice with a one of these knives. Um, and get really nice consistent slices. You can still do it with this, don't get me wrong, it's not, not, a, not a drama at all. Um, but this just is the, the cream uh, when it comes to slicing briskets. You can see that the teeth aren't overly jagged, but they're very sharp and it's a beautiful knife. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, probably a, a prized piece. It comes out and people go, oh wow, that's, that's a, it's definitely a big knife. It is a big knife, but it does its job perfectly. And my last knife is, is this um, f Dick slicer. It's a 10 inch slicer um, and great for slicing up rib fillet, for rumps, um, slicing, slicing uh, you know, ham. You can carve up with it too if you want to carve with it, um, but mainly I use it for slicing my raw meat um, and it's a really, really good knife. Um, very, very sharp, has a nice tip to it so when you slice you can slice through and then through on the point um, and you can get most most cuts with one or two goes one or two strokes of the knife so they're my four main knives that i use um yeah it's i suppose like like any anyone's knife collection it's not fantastic i do like knives and i'm interested in them uh, but when i've got knives that do the job i don't see why i should be spending uh, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a knife when uh, I've got a knife that's sharp enough to do the job. I believe a sharp knife is a lot better than a blunt knife. You get cut a lot less with a sharp knife um, than you do trying to force blunt knives through um, <laughs> objects that they can't cut through. So make sure you always keep your knives sharp. Okay, so how do I keep my knife sharp? Well, I have bought and purchased a range of different sharpeners over the times, uh, but I'll run you through each one. So um, this one is a, a water sharpener, has three stones that range from coarse through to fine. 
you fill the bottom up with water and you run your knives back and forward through that sharpener um, it puts a nice edge on them and um, well, well it'll sharpen your knives up fairly well and you finish them off with a steel it, it goes pretty well it's got a guard here so when you lock that guard in that guard gives you the right angle with the stone the stone will be on the right angle that you need your knives at and you can go from there the next one next set i've got here is an accusharp set it once again has three different stones a coarse medium and fine stone but it sets up on a bench and clamps and then this piece here gives you the different angles that you can follow so i don't know if you can see that there uh, i'll try to get that zoom right there but you can see you can go from 11 through to 30 degrees in whichever one you put the um, the rod in that holds the stone on will be the angle that that sharpens your blade your blade clamps into here at the end and then that angle that you're coming down on that that puts the angle on your knife so from the next one next one's just a basic sharpening stone two sides one's a bit rougher one's a bit coarser um, and you can get a really fine edge on your lot knives if you do that probably the old-fashioned way of doing it the old simple way um, but a great sharpening stone and then I have two different steels both Mundal steels um, one's a bit coarser than the other so this one's a little bit coarser this one's a really nice fine steel put a fine edge on your knife um, or take off any rough bits that you might pick up on that knife um, when you're using it to slice things so yeah guys I thought I want to see that um, might do a knife sharpening video as well to go with it. So how I keep my knife sharp and we'll go from there. All right, cheers. Hey guys, so just gonna run my Mundial through the, the Minnow Sharp 3 Plus and test it out at the end. Okay, so this sharpener is a water sharpener. Three wheels coarse, medium and fine, sit in water at the end there, you basically run your knife through. I like to pull them, pull the knife through, um, some people might do it a bit differently, that's how I get my results though. So the first one, it's got a coarse, coarse. now I'm going to run it through this too many times because this coarse stone will take a bit out of your knife. So you can see there that that's taken a lot of metal off that off that knife blade there um, but it'll come back but I'll give it another couple of runs through it keep that consistent there okay okay so we're going to the medium stone now we'll give that probably 20 Okay, you can see that's taken all the, the roughness off that edge, but it hasn't quite created a fine edge that we want yet, so now we'll move on to the fine stone. Okay, so the fine stone has brought that edge up well. Now I'll just finish it off with this smooth steel. Right, we're left with a, a nice fine edge. Let's do a slice test on a bit of tomato, see how we go. Nice results with this Minish Sharp 3 Plus sharpener. Um, if you're not great with a stone, sharpening stone, this is a great way to keep your knives nice and sharp. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you tune in for the next one. Gravy boat cooking and camping.